everyone, the name is Victor and today I want to talk about perceiving types and conscient business. So I get a lot of questions from perceiving types that are trying to actively become more conscientious. They want to become better at follow through, they want to be better at following deadlines, they want to show up in time for work, they want to be better at doing and following the rules and processes and procedures. They are trying to be a little less open-minded, a little less scattered, a little bit less messy. And so they feel that uh, they have to become more judging, they have to become more conscientious. The other complaint I get from perceiving types is a lot of perceiving types feel they have to be too conscientious. They feel there is too much pressure from work to always be on time. They feel there are too many rules and regulations for everything. They feel they are too restricted at the workspace, that their boss is demanding too much from them, that there are too many deadlines, that there are too many timelines, there are too tight calendars, and that not enough time to improvise and try new things and to go off the script. So as a perceiving type, you want to think about and entertain both of these questions at the same time. You have to admit that at some point it's necessary to accept some rule and some order and some structure. You have to accept that you cannot be messy all the time, you cannot be crazy all the time. There is not always a room for new ideas in every discussion. There is not always a room to look at every possible option. There is a limited amount of time. A limited amount of space, a little amount, a limited amount of resources, and we can't do everything at the same time. So, as a perceiving type, you have to learn to accept these things and to learn to portion and to put your perceiving to use in the right time and place. You have to accept some need for conscientiousness, and you have to set reasonable expectations for yourself. Accept some rules and understand which rules are the most important to follow to have some kind of harmony or order at the workplace and learn which rules are more like guidelines that you can break and twist and adjust and fall off the script from once in a while without any problem or perhaps to gain some benefit or reward. Not all rules need to be followed script st strictly. Not every word is the Bible. Not everything said or written down or taught or agreed upon is necessary. As a perceiving type, you do have some freedom to be adaptable and to adjust and to be outside the script. And we need people like that. We need people that will improvise. We need people that will think outside the box. You are that person and we need you to be that person as often as possible. And so I work with the 80-20 rule. 20% of the time you should always devote to the conscientiousness. To writing things down, clearing things up, organizing yourself, drawing lines and making connections and patterns, writing down dates, making decisions, planning out your day, getting an idea of what you're doing, uh, taking notes and of what you've done and how you did it. 80% of the time you should devote to open-mindedness, adaptation, change, and brainstorming. Trying out new things, juggling ideas, seeing alternative courses of action, and new things to try out. With that rule, you'll have a maximum amount of control over your own situation, and you'll limit stress in your life. The more rules and obligations, the more your stress will increase, and the more difficult it will be for you to follow through on said goals and rules. The more reasonable your expectations are, the better you can follow through on reasonable expectations. You can be on time for the meetings that are the, that are the most important, and you can allow yourself to be a little bit late for the ones that don't. So these are my thumb rules for you as a perceiving type, and I hope they will help you become more organized and a little less organized at the same time. Thanks for watching, and see you all in the next video.